Hi Year 3, this week I wanted to share a story with you. It's an Aboriginal Australian Dreamtime story um, and it's about how the birds got their colours. So, it's kind of a long one. So just be patient, listen along, and then we're going to do a quick drawing at the end. Okay, how the birds got their colours. Tales from the Australian Dreamtime by Helen Chapman and Faye Martin. How the birds got their colours. How the birds got their colours. Back in the dream time, when the land and animals were being made, all the birds were the same colour. Black! It didn't matter if the bird was big like a cassowary, or small like budgerigar, fluffy like kookaburra, or smooth like brolga. They all had black feathers. But this was about to change. One day, Dove was flying far away from home. He was looking for food to share with his friends when he saw some tasty looking grubs crawling on the ground. Dove swooped to catch them, but when he landed, a sharp stick from a broken off tree branch stepped deep into his foot. Dove fell over and as he lay there, his foot began to burn and swell. Poor Dove called for help, but none of his friends heard or saw him. For days he lay alone in pain until finally he was discovered by the other birds. They were shocked by what they saw. Dove's foot was red and swollen and he'd become very ill. The kind birds fluttered around him to try and help. Some spread wide their wings to shade his body or flapped their wings to cool him. Others flew to a waterhole and carried back water in their beaks. They trickled droplets into Dove's dry mouth and splashed water over his hot foot to soothe the pain. But one bird did nothing. Crow. He was selfish and annoyed and jealous of the attention that Dove was getting. Why should he bother wasting his time caring for such a sick bird? Nothing could save him, but the other birds didn't care what Crow thought. And after hours of listening to his grumbling, they chased him away. Poor Dove's foot look, looked bad. It was getting hotter and more swollen all the time. Dove's good friends were upset. Helping him was all very well, but it wasn't making him better. They had to do more. Each bird thought about why Dove was such a good friend and each came up with a plan to help in their own special way. Dove always cheered Kookaburra up on the morning. She didn't feel like laughing. So now Kookaburra perched by her friend and told her best joke. She hoped Dove would shake with laughter and that the nasty stick would flick out of his foot. But the stick didn't move. Dove used to skip and hop to teach Cassowary new dance steps. So now Cassowary stood over his friend and stomped the ground with his big feet. He hoped the horrid stick would shake with the vibrations and shoot right out of Dove's foot. But the stick didn't move. Dove and Parrot liked to look for food together. Sometimes they'd have to tug hard to pull out grubs, which were stuck in the ground. This gave Parrot an idea. She hopped over to Dove and with her sharp hooked beak, she pulled the stick out from Dove's swollen foot to let the swelling drain out. And as she did so, the colours of birds as we know them today were created. All of nature's brilliant colours exploded from Dove's foot and flew over Parrot's black body. Bright rosy red splashed onto her beak, blue violet over her head and belly, bright green onto her wings, tail and back, and orange and yellow across her chest. Parrot dazzled like a rainbow in her new colours. This was her reward for being such a good and clever friend. Colours also flew all over the other kinds and thoughtful birds to thank them for looking after Dove. Some like kind Budriga were splattered in a mixture of many colours, while others like helpful Brolga were sprayed with only a few drops. Some of the caring birds were decorated with stripes or spots and they all became beautifully coloured, including brave dove. Apart from stripes of black across his wings, 
and back, the darkness drained from dove's feathers and they became pastel gray, brown and pink. But one bird stayed black, crow. Being selfish meant he'd been too far away from dove to receive any of the wonderful new colors. And that's why crow remains stuck with his plain black feathers to this day. So, interesting that a story like that can, can make up a story about how all of our beautiful birds got their amazing colours. Now, for today, I'd like you to think about some of the birds in the book and the colours that they got, and I want you to have a go drawing one. So you could do a kookaburra, you could do a parrot, you could do a budriga, you could even make up your own bird if you would like to. And I want you to think about how you can use colours and patterns to make them beautiful and interesting. Remember, this story is from our First Nations people, from Aboriginal Australian people. So you could even think about the patterns and lines and colours that Aboriginal people use in their artwork as well. And you could maybe incorporate that into some of your beautiful bird designs. Have a go at creating your own beautiful bird or using one of the birds that we've got in nature already and make sure you're thinking about all those beautiful colors and patterns and lines. If you really wanna extend yourself, you could even include a background for your bird as well and think about where that bird might live. Have fun and I'll hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.